Greetings and the Lord be with you. My dear friends in the Lord, today is Ascension Day and it's such an august occasion in the life of the church. And one of the reasons for this is that today we begin the Thy Kingdom Come journey. What started in 2016 as an invitation from Archbishops of Canterbury and York to the Church of England has now grown into an international and ecumenical call to prayer. Since it started in May 2016, just about three and a half years ago, God has grown thy kingdom come from a dream of possibility into a movement. In 2019, Christians from 172 countries took part in praying come Holy Spirit so that friends and families neighbors and colleagues might come to faith in Jesus Christ. This praying together has been across our diversity and differences as every person, household and church are encouraged to pray in their own way. Whilst an astonishing 92% of people said they were praying for family and friends, to come to faith in Jesus and 40% of those taking part in 2019 did so for the first time. It is recognized that there is much more we can do to help thy kingdom come be fully in the lifeblood of the church. And so during the 10 days of thy kingdom come, may we focus on three things in the main. One, deep in our own relationship with Jesus Christ. Two, pray for five friends and all family members to come to faith in Jesus. And three, pray for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit that will be effective in our witness. After the first Ascension Day, the disciples gathered together constantly devoting themselves to prayer while they waited for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Like them, our reliance on the gift of the Holy Spirit is total. On our own, my dear friends, we can do nothing. Through the centuries, Christians have gathered at the time to pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit. And so thy kingdom come picks up this tradition. Over the past three years and a half, more and more worshipping communities have dedicated the days between the Ascension and the Pentecost to pray, come Holy Spirit. May we also be part of this wonderful journey and experience God doing great things in our life during this time. I end by praying saying the words that we find in Acts chapter 1. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, he was lifted, and a cloud took him out of their sight. Then they returned to Jerusalem, and were constantly devoting themselves to prayer. On the day of Pentecost that come, they were all together in one place. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. May God bless you and continue to stay safe.